And there's a, a strange feeling I have as I'm uh, being taken away or abducted, I guess. Uh, it would be the better term. Um, but yeah, it was stolen. Uh, it's not, it hasn't been easy. I'm stuck in a trunk. It's uncomfortable. It's like a small space for me. Thrown from the dark sky Fall to the earth Thrown from the dark sky Now what? Now what? I was just, I was just thinking. I, I should have thought about when I was pig, but I'm, really, I kind of feel a little hungry. Maybe we could, I haven't eaten no for two days. No way, no way. We're late. We're late. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't eaten for two days. Two days? Yeah, I'm a human being. I need to eat. You can give me some, something small. Just something small. I'm not, that's not too demanding. Do you want ice cream too? Yeah, if you get, if you give me some ice cream, I'll get you something. Okay, yeah. ice cream. Okay, go ahead. Uh. We are getting food. And you know, not I'm not a small guy. I'm, you know, I've got I've got a height to me, a uh, minor scoliosis, and so kind of crouching in the way that I have to crouch in this trunk, not exactly comfortable. Uh, I don't know. I've also I'm also hungry in here. There's there's a desire for food. You know how it gets. Um, urge to drink, poop, piss, uh, have relationships talk to people, see sunlight, uh, not, not always the easiest thing inside of a trunk, I, uh, the crack uh, of light that comes through sometimes on the corner of the um, one seam of the trunk, that helps me find my peace or a hope in tomorrow, but at the same time I'm still scrunched in here, it's it's a bumpy ride. This guy doesn't take safe, safe spaces, uh, safe travels. He's, he's kind of a bit reckless. He hits a lot of potholes. It seems like he doesn't slow down uh, when, when there's a speed bump. Um, I'm fucking hungry. Let me call that you. Um, that's that's like me. That's got a lot of bread on it. I'm I can't I can't do that. I. Uh, what do you mean you can do that? I should have probably said it earlier, but uh, I'm uh, I'm gluten intolerant, so I gotta I gotta do something that doesn't have any bread. Oh. So, I. I I know that could be a hassle. I'm not trying to be like a buzzkill or whatever. We're gonna be your pillow now. Well, can I at least sit, stay here? Like, I don't want to have to go back in there. I'll, can I just stay here? It feels nice out here. Just give me something. I mean, they have to have something that's gluten intolerant. Some nuts or seeds or something. Something good. Okay. It's a little more pricey, I understand. But thanks, man. Your pal. Be good. I'll stay. I'm gonna stay here. It's nice. Well, it's nice. Terrorists these days. Don't even know anything about health. Don't even fucking understand. Treat, treat a fucking victim right. No one knows how to treat a victim these days. Probably doesn't even know what gluten free means. At least the weather's nice. He probably comes from a broken home. That's my guess. Probably comes from a broken home. Damn. Probably show, maybe show him a little bit of love. Oh. 
Oh, they're good. Oh, they, oh. What about that? Oh. I'm going to do the pink one. The pink one? Yeah. I mean, should, do you want, can you uh, untie me or should I just, or do you want to feed me? How are we going to do this? Okay, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. God, I'm fucking hungry. to get this down. Kind of hard to get this down without Try jumping. water. Try jumping. <laughs> nope. Not working. You probably need something to drink. It's hot. It's hot. Oh my god, it's gunky. Okay. It's all gunky. Water. Or something. Be good. Gatorade. Gatorade. Gatorade, that's what I love. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's. I guess this is what you expect when, when you're dealing with a terrorist. Probably, it's like a lack of general understanding of how the rules work. Like a desert in my mouth. Um, you know, I know that comes along with the territory, but and maybe it's something I have to learn to appreciate over time. <sighs> terrorists these days ain't like the terrorists from the '60s. That's for sure. God, I'm fucking dying! Is that for me? It's like tearing up my skin. Don't say you loosened it up for me. That's a macho thing to say. It's pleasing. I wouldn't have gotten orange, but... Anyway, can you just uh, keep this refrigerated for me? I'll get back in the trunk, but that's yeah, it's good for now. We got yeah. places to Do you go. Need, uh, you want to tie me up, or how are you doing this? Yeah, that's how we're doing. But uh, as far as things go now, pain. not really feeling so good about okay. it. Okay. Anyway, obviously machines kind of taking a, l a little bit of a hiatus. Yeah. I think it's probably mostly due to the fact that I'm stuck in here right now, but soon. as soon as I get uh. out of this trunk, uh, as soon as I, I'm done being abducted, I'm, I'm planning on getting right back to it, getting right back to it with the Absolute Machines, and looking forward to the future we might have uh, as a band, and um, just as, you know, an artistic purveyor of truth, and, you know, all things that are very, very realistic and very, very far from absurdity, because, uh, you know, we're not. We're never trying to be absurd. That's absolutely the first of our interests. We're very much about um, real, real, to the point, uh, by the by the books, uh, very news verified styles of um, documentary. Uh, anyway. <laughs>